Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. Today we've got a pile of parts, oh yeah, that I printed off for my brother. This is from Anvil Digital Forge, which is the Patreon slash 3D model design works for Anvil Industries, who have had a very successful run of a multitude of gaming scale sci-fi and actually a variety of characterful models. So today we're going to take a look at what was part of their Patreon, and that was their modern post-apocalyptic survivors. And this is part of their subset of what they call their Exolord lines, and that's all of their modular parts here. So you can see I just have a sampling laid out in front of us, and there actually were quite a few more files available, but I just wanted to go over it. Uh, the pieces are actually compatible with all of their current existing resin exolord kits as well and not only are they compatible with their regular exolord kits but they've been compatible with all of the other model kits that they've put out through patreon they had a chaos renegade type guys earlier uh, looks like they have drop troops coming up uh, but the cool thing is like i said everything works with all the parts they've already made so very standard basic legs since these are supposed to be very stalkerish zona alpha type modern survivor types you can see lots of cargo pants i want to say there were like six different pairs of legs i believe these are all male ones there are some female versions as well zipped up jackets combat armor various backpack models available as well and I want to say there were at least six or seven head designs, but naturally the ones that my brother wanted were all of the various face mask, respirator, rebreather types. The way the arms work is actually pretty cool. So all of the guns are available, not just the guns, but all the weapons are available as standalone models. And for a couple of them, like the larger machine gun here, actually have the hand modeled so that it's going to just fit right on and then they have a corresponding arm so you do want to be careful when you print all this stuff that everything matches up and then the hand will just you know cradle the gun but they have a cool little system here where you can have the stock of the gun is attached to the right hand and there's a little notch in there and then of course we've got our mp4 and it just kind of locks in there was an ak i think i gave those to them already the shotgun um, but the cool thing is actually all of the gun hands are completely compatible with the other ranges as well. So I know we're going to probably grab some guns from their Chaos Renegades line as well. Get some laser weapons in there. And then a couple of the close combat weapons. We've got a maul and a wrapped up baseball bat. There were some knives and pistols as well. They are very tiny and very fragile and very delicate. So if you are gonna print some of that stuff, do take care with it. Uh, I'm going to go get these glued together and we'll show you how they look. All right, well, I'm gonna do you guys one better. I actually went ahead and gave all those pieces to my brother and Finally, I guess that lit a fire under him to get some stuff painted. He actually went ahead and painted up a whole slew of the parts for me. And so check this out. This is one of those modular pieces. He printed this base himself. Um, but again, this was just built out of those modular parts. Naturally with an AK. Visored head. Backpack. And just the regular stand legs. I did print him some various pouches and knives and survival tools but I don't think he ran any of those off so there's one model there's another one he built again I want to say these hands are actually from one of the hero models I didn't even talk about that so the patron actually includes a bunch of hero models every month as well as all of the modular infantry pieces so you can see he's got his machine gun on his back there I think that hand originally had a knife in it and speaking of heroes he did actually print up and paint one of the heroes. I love that blade. It's got a little hand flavor in there. And kudos to my brother's paint jobs. They're infinitely better than mine. And I know he really digs the theme, so hopefully that helped get this stuff painted. How do they stack up, though? I'm sure you guys are all curious. Oh, I forgot, whoa. forgot there was also mutant dog wolf things. 
as you enter the zone. Okay. So he actually gave me a bunch of other painted anvil models as well to give you guys a good look. See, if you are curious, here is my usual marine friend. Let's see if I can grab a Necromunda figure, and I'm going to get a bunch of these anvil figures out for you here in a sec. All right, so let's get him out of the way. Here, we got at least a corpse grinder. So you can see they're going to fit really nicely in scale with a lot of other modern figures. A Trader Marine, not Marine, Trader Guard from uh, Blackstone Fortress, uh, Rum Jaeger from uh, War Games Atlantic, one of their Grognards. So you can see size-wise this stuff really, really fits in great. Uh, random Afghan. Okay, but well that's pushing it. One of the Feudal Guard from Maker's Colt. So you can see just really the size, the style is great. I'm going to grab a couple other Anvil models to show you how they stack up. Oh gosh, I want to say this is also part of their Exolord line. And it fits in great with those post-apocalyptic survivors. This was an actual model kit ordered through Anvil, not from the Patreon. This is Daughters of the Burning Rose. This was their sisterhood inquisition type line. This was a Kickstarter. They are available on their website as actual models. I'm going to say that was a sniper, and here's one of the actual troopers. That helmet, I don't know why it gives me laser burn vibes, but that's a good thing. Basically, this is going to turn into a show-off of anvil models that my brother has painted. Okay, also, I don't know if they're still producing the actual Afterlife models, but i got a couple Afterlife models here that he gave me to show off as well. I want to say this was one of the original Exo Lords. He is totally kitted out and parted out with pieces from Anvil. I don't think these guys are actually available anymore. And they do have their newer Primaris sized ones as well. Brother's a good painter. Some of his afterlife stuff. And again, totally compatible with the rest of Anvil's range. And I gotta say, that's probably one of the coolest things about their Patreon models is it's wargaming style models. Here's another Afterlife character. Fits in great. And a few more. Cool guy with sunglasses. And a medic. So again, with the only difference really being the resin bases that he's got these figures on. I think size-wise, scale-wise, everything works together. Everything's compatible. But honestly and truly, the models from their Patreon for the post-apocalyptic, modern-style post-apocalyptic survivors, I think are really just fantastic in terms of what they've got going on. They also have a version of this guy with a wolf head. So if you want a werewolf hero model, go for it. Again, if you want to play games like Zona Alpha, these guys would be great. If you want to do some kind of post-apocalyptic, like this is not a test, use them in Fallout. I think you just have a lot of potential. Plus the dogs, plus there's fun little bits like dudes sleeping with their sleeping bags campfire and barricades and fun little debris like that yeah i just printed these so definitely give anvil digital ford a look if you are in the mood for something especially if you're going to play games like zone alpha or any of the post-apocalyptic stuff and hopefully once we're out of our post-apocalyptic pandemic thing going on here we're going to get these guys on the table playing because they absolutely deserve it so Hopefully you have found this of interest, and like I said, do check out Anvil Digital Forge, or I'll put a link as well for Anvil Industries if you want to go ahead and get some of their modular resin figures. Or marines that 
possibly hang out in space. Anyway, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.